What is it, Crystal? This parcel just arrived for Yancey Derringer. Well, put it in the safe in the back parlor. He'll probably be in later this evening. It's marked urgent now, Francine. Well, let's see where it's from. Liberty, Missouri. Shall I have Jeremiah take it out to Waverly? No, I'll take it myself. Have Jeremiah bring my carriage around, will you? Hello, Francie. Hello, Yancey. Hello, Charlie. Howdy, ma'am. Thank you. Doggone, Yancey, this is one of them sites in New Orleans I'm sure going to miss. Yancey, this came for you. It says urgent. Can I have Obadiah get your mint julep or a sandwich or something? No, thanks. Got to get right back to the city. Wayne Raven charged with train robbery. Trial for murder starts today. Something wrong, old horse? Yancey, that coin, what does it mean? It means trouble, Francie. Pa, will have Obadiah pack our things. We're leaving on a trip immediately and bring the weapons. Francie, when you get back to town, when you go to the telegraph office, send a telegram. Wayne Raven, Liberty, Missouri, care of the calaboose. Say, I'm on my way, don't worry. Sign my name. So it looks like I won't be going up river alone. That's right, Charlie. Yancey, hurry back. Alive. to bust in on a man's private secrets, but well, doggone it, I'm busting plum out of my brisket here with curiosity. Saved my life once, Charlie. Mm-hmm. The bullet hit it and deflected. That's right. It was Cold Harbor during the war. It was a mini ball. Knocked me in the river. I was all but drowned, and a soldier came along, jumped in, held me up. About that time, a Union patrol found us. Well, he could have escaped. But he stuck with me and got captured. Man's name was Wayne Raven. Oh, I'm beginning to read the signs now. Charlie, how do you thank a man that's kept you alive? He'd saved my life. This had saved my life, so I figured the two of them belonged together. Well, he's in plenty of trouble now. You know that newspaper's more than two weeks old. They could have hanged him by now, Yancey. That's right. Yancey, telegram for you. Came aboard just before we left Vicksburg. Thank you, Captain Tom. Trial is over. Wayne is found guilty. Be careful, you are in danger. We'll meet you at the Union Hotel, St. Louis. Signed, Sally Snow. Sally Snow? Now, who in Hades is Sally Snow? You've got the slightest idea. That's right. How do you do? It's a pleasure. May I present Colorado Charlie? Howdy, ma'am. Wahoo Katiwa? Uh, how do you do? Now, would you like to explain things? What's happened to Wayne? Why you're meeting us here? There's no time for that now, Mr. Derringer. We have to get to the depot. Now, you hold on just a minute. What's all the big stampede for? They're hanging Wayne, day after tomorrow. Yancey, 
That man who just came in. The end of the car. Yes, what about him? I've seen him around Liberty. His name is Hancock. I think he's one of the James gang. Oh, now, ma'am, you don't need to worry about him. He ought to be worried about Pahu. Miss Snow, you want to tell me exactly what happened to Wayne? Last month, the James boys held up the train outside of Liberty. They took an army payroll. They shot the paymaster, killed a conductor. One of the bandits was hit. I don't see how Wayne got mixed up in that. Someone tipped off the sheriff that Wayne was mixed up in it. They found him at home, wounded with part of the payroll. Well, how did Wayne get the gunshot wound and, and the payroll? Part of the payroll. A very small part. Planted, of course. You sound like you know who planted it. I do. It was Jesse James. That sounds like Jesse, all right. He can be the friendliest, and he can be the meanest. You know him, Charlie? Yeah, I met him and his brother Frank both out in Kansas when I was on our who trail. Yes? We got us a nervous clock watcher on board. Jesse has spies everywhere. He knows you're coming to help. That's what you meant by danger? Yes. This train's slowing down. Well, this is only Harris Town. We don't stop here. Hancock said he was in the parlor car. I tell you, this is a through train. We shouldn't stop here. We're stopping. All right, make it fast and make it count. He says that's a widow with the wooden legs. So little time. Time enough, maybe. What are you going to do? Charlie, take Miss Snow into the hotel and get us accommodation. I'll go see Wayne. All right, old horse. Mighty fancy clothes for these parts, Mr. Derringer. Well, I'm not from these parts. I'm from New Orleans. Could have bet on it. Oh, this here is uh, Marshal Ike Milton from Virginia City, Nevada. Ike Milton? Heard of me, huh? It's 
right. Kind of far away from home, aren't you? Well, I've been trying to get back to Nevada for a month now, but I can't get away. Seeing as I'm the only eyewitness in this case. Wayne Raven, he means. I figure you've uh, come to see the hanging, Mr. Derringer. Not at all. Come to stop it. That'll take some doing, mister. Might be more than a dude like you can handle, Derringer. Maybe. You gonna bust him out? No. I just thought I'd replace him with a real killer. Who might that be? Jesse James. Oh. Now look here, dude. There's no point in you wasting your time for getting yourself shot. Jesse didn't do it. Wayne did. I was on the train. I saw it. And I shot Wayne. That ought to be conclusive enough. Yes, I guess it should be. But somehow it just isn't. You calling me a liar? Take it easy, Ike. You're just a loudmouth dandy. Derringer, you're mighty lucky we're in Missouri and not out in Nevada. I'd have drawn on you. You'd have died trying. Like I said, I want to see the prisoner. Yeah, he's only got 24 hours left. You'll need a bolstering. All right, Mr. Derringer. But the Indian stays here, and you leave your weapon. Jancy. I knew you'd come. I just wished I could have come sooner. You all right? Oh, couldn't be better. As long as I last. Now, sit down. Yancey, first I gotta tell you. I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Well, I figured that. You know, outside of Sally, you're the first one who believes. Wayne, it's not a question of faith, it's a question of fact. Yancey, there's no time I'm going to stretch that rope tomorrow morning at 9. Do you know something? Yes, I know that the James boys attacked the train last night, trying to stop me from getting here. Somehow they intercepted the telegram I sent you. How could Jesse have found out? Well, I think he found out from the sheriff's bosom friend, Marshal Ike Milton, Virginia City, Nevada. You know him? He was the chief witness against me. You've gone to a lot of trouble to frame you. Oh, but why? Sure, Jesse swore he'd, he'd stop Sally and me from getting hitched. But he could have ambushed me any dark night and put a bullet in my back. How much was the payroll robbery worth? 80000 Well, then that's it. If you die without revealing where the rest of the loot is, the secret dies with you. And that means... The railroad detectives are no longer on Jesse's trail. Two birds with one stone. But there's just one thing. Yes. Putting part of the loot in your house was easy. How did they know you were wounded? It was the afternoon before it happened. I did it cleaning my gun, and Doc Grimes came by and worked on me. Doc's on the shady side. He patches up Jesse's boys. So he told them, probably. Well, why didn't he step forward to the trial and testify that you were wounded the afternoon before the robbery happened? Because he's dead. Killed by a train, drunk, the day after they arrested me. Mm. Pretty rough. Sheriff! Yancey, have I got a chance? Even money. I just got us some very nice lodgings. In one of the cleanest livery stables I've seen in a long time. What's wrong with the hotel? Oh, we pison in there. Did you get Miss Sally home all right? Yep. Yes, ain't nobody in this town going to raise a hand to help us. Jesse done passed the word. And around here, his word is law. Well, we can always get a hot bath over at the barbershop. Oh, no, I done checked over there already. Now, when it comes to taking a bath, that's never been the problem for me that it is for you. You know a fella can get a death of cold that way? Yancey, this town is scared. 
And there ain't nobody gonna take a deep breath until that raven boy's heels is kicking six feet off the ground tomorrow morning. Nobody's gonna take a deep breath for a long time. You gonna bust him out? No. You ever met a man by the name of Ike Newton? Ike Newton. Sure, old Ike and I used to engine wrestle out there in the valley. He's a good old friend of mine. I want you to come across the street to the saloon, meet someone. Who? Ike Newton. Now, friends, you just bought a bottle of your best up here, which is probably none too good, and a couple of on broken glasses. Well, Derringer, how's the condemned man? Fine, Phil. He didn't maybe tell you where he hid the rest of that $80,000 he grabbed from the railroad. No, he didn't. Mm, that's a pity. Marshal, I'd like to have you meet this grizzly old bear at Colorado Charlie. Howdy. Huh? Marshal, he's a friend of yours. What are you talking about? I never saw him before in my life. Oh, now, you ain't exactly telling the truth, friend. Well, Charlie, he says that he's uh, Marshal Ike Milton, Virginia City, Nevada. Does he? That's the handle, friend. Hmm. Now, that's funny. Last time I bunked up with Ike in the Paiute country, he was... He was older. He was bigger. He was stronger. He was smarter. Looking for trouble. Oh, me? Well, I'm just a peaceable, fun-loving old codger that's got a hankering for bear steaks. And you're as slippery as a sidewinder and a can full of axle grease. Derringer, your friend here's gonna get it. You just said you weren't Ike Milton. That's all? That's all. Then who am I? Go Frank James. Jesse's brother. You just had the honor of capturing Frank James. Where is Frank? In the jug by now. Well, that shoots the whole deal. All right, we're going into Liberty. Jess, there's only seven of us. Well, there's only three of them. And the sheriff ain't gonna hang around. Now, we're gonna break Frank out, and then we all head over to Sedalia. And listen here. Before we leave Liberty, I want that Wayne Raven dead. One way or another. I mount up. He gave me the keys and told me to let Wayne out. And that ain't surprising. I'll take him. I want to see Wayne. I want you to go home. Stay there. Now, scat. Oh, but yeah, and see ya. Good night, Miss Snow. Now, that's a pretty thing. Sometimes I wished I was a married guy. Yeah, well, you just watch the street. Hey, dude. Getting nervous? Do you notice the streets? Nobody there. It's an empty town. You know why? Jesse come. That's right. Good. I hate to be you and alive when he gets here. Hi, Jesse. How'd you do it? We've been lucky up to now. But from here on, it's anybody's fight. It's been nice knowing you, Derringer. You'd have made a good outlaw. Wayne, you and Charlie will cover this side of the street when we go out. Oh, uh -huh. You and I will cross over. And we'll put the office in a crossfire.
You all right, boy? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> Nothing broken. Where you been, Jesse? Get up. Back away. St. Joe, Mrs. Raven. We'll hook up with a good wagon train. In about 30, 40 days, I can show you folks some of the prettiest country the Lord ever made. Is that right, Yance? That's right, Charlie. You ought to come along with us, Biggin. Afraid I can't. Matter of fact, I'm doing Madame Francine's, a poker game. Yancey, there's no possible way we could ever thank you. Of course there is. Wayne thanked me back at Cold Harbor a long time ago. How can I thank you? Name the first one after me. 